Hello guys, welcome back to another daily coding videos from Dosen Coding and today I would like to share to you uh, seven ways to perfect your filament table filters. So recently I working on uh, IDOKIT, a starter code for filament here. Uh, and I found into this, I stumbled into this problem. So sometimes we need a filter to be of forms uh, we need the filters to be a models we need a filters to be shown before above the table and etc but uh, the default uh, of filament filters is in something like this so let's see if this comment uh, the default filter from filament is something like this this is okay but in some specific needs that we need to customize these uh, filters to according to our needs uh, sometimes something like this is okay but some other times we need a table with uh, more detailed filters and all the filter will be so long if we put this here so I create this article uh, I have read the filament manual but I create this article uh, specifically for you who wants to learn how to beautify your filters in filament so here in the articles I explain so many things you can read it and but I would like to demonstrate several things that I use uh, to fix my filters so instead of having this kind of filters we can have something like this we can add so this is the filters and uh, we can use a default filters we can use a custom filters and don't forget we can also use a custom layout so one of the first custom layout is that uh, to put the filters above the content so something like this we can have this uh, collapsible also this is the filter will move from this side into this uh, top of the table we can also hide but somehow sometimes a user needs to the filter to be explicitly fileable so we can use above content instead okay let's try so whenever user open this uh, tables it will show the content directly the filter directly when they are open this uh, page and also there is something else that you need to know that we can also set the number, the number of the columns used for the filter for example here I set the filters columns into four and then we can also change into two columns so you can uh, make the filter fits your need whenever it is needed so you want it to be longer you can add more columns if you want to be narrow you can set a uh, smaller columns and also this kind uh, this layout can also be make a model so from sometimes uh, we need the filter into a model so filter will be the user will be more focused on the filtering action something like this you can also set up the number of the columns so if you want it uh, wider, you can use this uh, number of the columns. So that is the tricks for me. I hope you have you develop uh, filament better and don't forget to use Kaido Kit. But uh, if you need a more advanced filtering action, you can get uh, the information in the uh, videos for members only. So don't forget to support me. Uh, I hope you like these videos. Keep coding and see you guys in the next videos.